Hello and welcome to Tax App Professional's video on simply getting started within Tax App Professional. My name is Jake Etheridge. I'm the senior UX designer of the software and I'm excited to show you how easy it is to navigate and find your way within Tax App Professional. So first and foremost, uh, the main purpose of Tax App Professional as a software is to create and prepare returns. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that and then just a few of the various uh, interactions you can have within those returns. If you'd like to dive deeper into any one of the things that you see in this video, you should be able to find similar and related videos on our YouTube page or on our website. First and foremost, as you can see here, I'm in my client manager view. I've just logged into the program and I can see a list of a couple of the clients I have, but what I'd like to do is actually add a new client. So I can click this button right here that says add client, or I can go up here to the file menu and hit add client return, both work. I'm going to click this button for now, and once I click this, I actually have the chance to choose what kind of return type this is. Once I've picked it, I can also choose what master forms I would like to include with this return type. This looks fine to me. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and then I can choose uh, what kind of client I am adding. Am I adding a brand new client? Is this an existing client? Am I importing? Am I importing the prior year? Am I going to be converting from another software, etc.? I'm just going to be adding brand new from here. And if this is also your very first time loading up the software, you will most likely be prompted to enable autosave. We would recommend that you enable autosave to ensure that none of your work is lost. So I hit OK, and I can enter in some information about my client here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter some information here. And this should be just enough to get me through. Um, I'll come back and fill out the rest of this information later. As you can, say, as you can see, there's um, some information here, but I'll have the chance to enter that actually in just a moment. I hit Create Client, and then from here, if you're using the evaluation software, you will simply move forward with the evaluation. And you'll see that I actually have uh, the beginnings of a return here. On this left side over here, I can actually select what forms I'd like to include. This is our Forms Explorer, and we break this down into a few sections which includes information worksheets, the documents received, the forms and schedules, worksheets, state planners, and a document manager. You'll notice up here at the very top, there's a section that says clients return. You can open this and you'll see that there are some alerts letting me know there are some things I need to give my attention to. And anything that is related to this client's return will actually be in this section. So even when I go and I add forms, such as the W-2, I can click that and it will actually go ahead and add this W-2. Um, and once this W-2 is in here, I can fill out various information. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill out some information. Um, and I think this is enough. And let's say I remember that my client has another W-2 I'd like to include. I can actually go right over here and where this says Add New Form W-2 underneath this kind of segmented dropdown. I can click that and I've already got another W-2 added and I can see that my original is still here reflected in the left side under the client's return and documents received and also up here in the tab navigation. So if I actually clear this, I still have the ability to quickly navigate my way to the form itself. Now, if I don't want to enter things on the forms view, I can actually go up here and toggle the Q&A view which is going to go line by line through a return and allow me to enter in information in a pretty straightforward manner. If I want to go back to forms, I simply click forms. And then if I would like to go back to my client manager, I can simply click clients here. It will let me know that I have some changes that need to be modified. I can say yes, choose where I would like to save these, and then I am back here at the client manager and I have that information here. This client has been successfully added. And that is some of the basics of getting started in Tax App Professional. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please direct them to Tax App Professional Support.